Welcome back to the Stanley Parable. Last time, we died a horrible, depressing death, and then we also died another horrible, depressing death, but at least that one, we taught a sociopath named Mariella a valuable lesson. So, this time, we're going to aim for an ending what that doesn't involve horrible gone. death. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. We've all seen this too many times. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I've taken a break since last playing. I don't remember if there were other ways to go. You know, I know what I want to do. We're going to go down the escape hall and see how that turns out. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's. Coming to yep. a staircase, Stanley yep. walked upstairs to his got boss's it. office. Got it, boss. We've got it. Always luck. Here we are. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not That's an so indication many of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known Yanti. was that the keypad mm. behind the boss's desk Certificate guarded of the terrible truth pompousness, that his boss had it looks like. from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Two, eight, but of course, four, Stanley could not possibly have known. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, wow. Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Sheer Amazing. luck. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Down we go. <laughs> loading, 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 loading. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Um, no, I exploded last time I went in there. So, <laughs> we're Although gonna not explode. this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Oh, again? <laughs> Great. Well, <laughs> might as well the embrace it. The door him was not shut. Stanley still mm -hmm. had every opportunity mm -hmm. to turn around and get back on track. Yeah. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yep. I'd sprint if I could. Bye. Wow, my legs <laughs> are broken. As the machine whirred into motion, or they're not, because they don't exist. Closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. That's Stanley okay. can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. Hmm. And so he Morbid. resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Goodbye. Farewell. He'll be fast, at least. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. I always go the way that looks like the wrong way first. How you find secrets.
and yet it would wow. be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? I like this room. I'm a fan of the, the white hardwood. Very nice. is very interesting. Wow. Ah, uh, I don't want to go the right way first and not get to go the other way. <laughs> or is it all just one big loop? That's fine. We'll keep going. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, this is the Ultra Deluxe version. Um, I don't know the difference. <laughs> I'm sure this one just has more stuff. Maybe even this is uh, exclusive to Ultra Deluxe, because I don't remember this when I watched a playthrough nine years ago. <laughs> but I don't remember much either, so. How do you make a JRPG? How do you make the worst game ever? What is the difference between a duck? How's the game going? I hope it's as good or better than the first one. From Cool Man... Great. This is so nice. For a long time, we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few players <laughs> realized that this was what they were supposed to do, which was frustrating for everyone. The yeah. ending went through many iterations. This room represents the fourth version of the ending, and we thought it was complete, but decided to abandon and change it again shortly after launch, before launch. I can't read. I am... This feels like spoilers for, maybe, for endings I haven't seen. Maybe I don't want to be here, or at least I don't want to look too closely at anything. <laughs> yeah, there's stuff about other endings. I don't want to see it yet. Ah! Uh, <laughs> okay, there's the, there's the end. Take one more quick little glance through. That's some cool stuff. From left to right, the evolution of Stanley's office over time. The first was created in November 2011, the second in March 2012, and the third in February 2013. Hmm. Lovely. Okay, we'll leave now. We'll leave. We're leaving. <laughs> oh, look at these two. 
How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. I like her a lot more listen to me. than the you man. You can still save those two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's uh. no other way to beat <laughs> uh. this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Take no. Time, no. For you. Not Don't doing it. it. <laughs> she wasn't bluffing. <laughs> that it wasn't a ruse that time. <laughs> That's okay. That's all. <laughs> Another horrible death. Wow. Really just racking them up. Is, 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 yes, very good, Charlie. Is every, is every ending a horrible, horrible death? All of his co-workers were gone. What, what could it mean? mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps, Perhaps he had, had simply, simply missed, missed a memo. memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door uh, on his left. I'm going to see what happens if I turn off the mind control instead of turning it on like I did when I exploded. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Is a lovely office. Stepping into his manager's office, He's watching me. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What the nice could it couches. Mean? Stanley wondered aloud. Nice ashtray. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. Is that a? But his attention was caught was a, by a keypad. There's a reticle for a second. Desk. Oh, what it's because I'm in proximity be? to that. Okay. In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Mm -hmm. 2845. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Boop. If you hear any sound in the background, it's the dogs crunching food. <laughs> And I'm not going to stop them, Stanley nor am I going to stop recording a for it. <laughs> the red mind control facility. Wow. Wow. How amazing. I've never been here before. Good. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. My goodness. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Need to press another button. Poop. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Fired. Each One bore fired. the number of an employee in the building. Two. Stanley's co workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. One more. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. I wonder if I'll still blow up, even if I turn it, it off. He couldn't <laughs> accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? It? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Has he? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. 
Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, Happy or, or sad, sad or, or content. content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded mm -hmm. from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Beep. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Is it? Yes. He had won. I he had. had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building mm -hmm. hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered it's to beautiful. him. beautiful. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Yes. Perhaps his Aren't goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. <laughs> what a it gorgeous was countryside. The only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Oh. Good. Well, that was that was nice that was a lot nicer than the other ones i guess that was the the good ending but without any information <laughs> i think that's a happy ending that's good perfect end for a video all right great thank you for thanking your friends when they give you presents have a good one bye